Yo, what is up guys and welcome to this part two of this Yo, what is up guys? I noticed some of you watch these videos and you don't subscribe. Please subscribe right now. I will not upload more videos before you guys subscribe. Theory on how to create a free JS website portfolio. So for this video, we are going to set up the HTML part. So first of all, in our folder, you want to open up a folder, right? So open folder and then just click on an empty folder that you've created for this project. Then you want to right click. You can either right click or you can just click on this new uh, new file, this new file icon. Let's just right click here. And we want an index.html file. This is the part where, where we're going to uh, insert all of the visuals. I mean, not really the visuals, but this is basically our canvas. And then we want another file. We, wa we want to call this script.js. All right. So if I go over here, uh, let me just check and see. So in the index.html, we, we want to set up our canvas. First of all, we don't want to uh, we don't want to download the FreeJS uh, uh, folder because it's uh, it's around two 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 GB, and uh, you you don't want to load FreeJS off of uh, your own local folder. Instead, we just want to receive this uh, this FreeJS file uh, online. So you can basically just get every functionality from FreeJS uh, directly from a, from a URL link. And I'm gonna show you how to find that link. But first, let's set up HTML. So you can basically just uh, type in this abbreviation. There we go. Just type it in and then click enter. And if, it, uh, if this doesn't work, then just type in HTML uh, boilerplate code. So we are going to delete some of this that we don't need a viewport, uh, whatever, you know what? First of all, just go to the title, type in free JS, JS portfolio. And I'm doing this very slow so you guys can follow. Now in the header section, this is where we want the uh, free JS CDN. It's basically a content delivery network. So what we will do here is basically CDN. And then you just wanna click on the first one. Once you've clicked on the first one, then you wanna grab this link. So copy URL. This is the one free that minute that free that uh, whatever it says that JS. Grab this link. And let me just check and see how we actually uh, put it in. So you wanna say script, you wanna add a script element, script, there you go. And then you wanna say what source are we going to take it from? and then just type it in and there you go. Now we want to we want to implement all of our functionality all of, all of our elements and stuff like that in script.js. So this is the file that we want to uh, dump all of this stuff into. We will just type in uh, in the body we want to do all of our code in this script.js. So make another script element call it we want to source it to script dot and it already it already knows that it's script.js. So this is what it looks like so far. We have the URL that we load in the header, then we have the body and this uh, and this our code that we source it to the script.js file. In the body, we want our canvas. So we take our canvas. Sorry, you want to make a canvas element, canvas. And you basically it, just let it be one line. You want to give it an ID of just C. So we can uh, refer to this canvas um, in the script.js. So that is basically it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and comment down below. So what we did was uh, we imported uh, we imported the, the URL. This is one of the ways to grab the free.js uh, uh, functions in the body of this HTML file. This is the meat of the file. We created a canvas element where we, will, uh, well, where we will basically put all of our elements into it. And this is our code, script.js, this is the file, where we will basically code all of our functionality. So if you wanna create uh, the, a cube that can spin around or something like that, that can rotate, you wanna do it in this file. That is what JavaScript is for. So that is the functionality. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment down below. See you on the next one.